<clears throat> Hi, Brandon. Good to see you. Um, got a uh, question for um, since you've been gone, and I know you've been around the team some, but um, what's your perspective on coming back to the team and seeing how they've progressed since the last time you were playing in games with with your teammates? Um, yeah, we, I, was, I got I was fortunate enough to be around the team while rehabbing. Um, <laughs> I to bring as much energy as I could off the bench and it was really interesting, you know, to get back out there. But the guys have been playing well. We've been in a lot of ball games. Um, we just need to keep continuing uh, making those big pitches and getting those big hits. And I think we're going to be just fine. Um, and have, have you seen, you know, I mean, there's a, a lot has happened since spring training, uh, both in terms of just the organization as a whole, but also the, you know, the progression of the players have, have you seen things that excite you about, um, you know, how, how people are developing uh, in the first couple months of the season? Yeah, um, from spring until now, a lot of guys have made huge jumps, uh, taking at bats, a lot better at bats, uh, pitchers going deeper into games, making making big pitches and stuff. You, you really can see all the work that, that's paying off. You see all the work that goes into it um, inside the locker room and in the gym. And, whatnot. So yeah, it's, it's really awesome to see all that pay off for these, for these guys. And for your work in, in getting back into shape and everything um, up to playing speed, where have you been uh, working on the diamond, uh, you know, aside from second base, what else have you been doing? Yeah, um, in AAA, um, I got the assignment. I got, I just got one game at short, um, but I've been taking grinders pretty much all three infield positions minus first base and uh, I feel confident at all three. Um, a lot, I would say a majority uh, of my work has been at second base, but um, I have no issues going over to support or third. And it's, you know, I think you kind of, partly by coming back, you you add a level of competition within the team, I think, you know, for, uh, for playing time and for getting in the lineup. Um, how do you like that atmosphere of knowing you got a bunch of strong infielders all competing for playing time there? Yeah, we, you know, it's a friendly competition. We all, we're all close, close buddies and we all are itching to, you know, get in that lineup and we, we try to do everything we can and just, just to make it fun and continue putting that work in. And, uh, you know, we're all going to end up being in that lineup as, as much as Buddy can put us in there and, and uh, that's what we all look forward to seeing our name in that lineup. And I'll just close uh, with this one. Um, what last night for you to, to be back in the lineup, you know, to see your name in there and be back there. Uh, what was that like? And how did you feel out there your first game back at that level in some time? Really good. It was, you know, it was a long time coming, being out almost, almost 10 weeks. It was, it was a grind for sure, but it's good to be back with the guys and, Competing out there, and you know, I felt really good, comfortable out there. Um, so some good swings, uh, you know, maybe not getting the hits, but right now, but you know, it's one game, and uh, I feel confident in the box and on defense as well. So I'm just going to continue carrying that forward. Great, thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Yes, Brendan. First of all, welcome back. Secondly, um, what are the things that you're doing, maybe anything special, anything you have added to your preparation, routine, maintenance to try to prevent some of the hamstring and muscle issues? Yeah, Doogie and I have just got on a pretty strict program with uh, bands and uh, some recovery stuff, just like post game and the little things before the game, just making sure my body's 100% uh, loose and ready to go each day. And I kind of just have taking more of uh, more pride in that. Um, you're from Florida where it's pretty humid. Have you found also that um, hydration is an issue out here, that, uh, that that maybe you have to do special things to stay hydrated that could prevent some of the muscle issues? Yeah, you definitely need to be drinking water pretty much all day throughout the night. And that's how I kind of look at it. Um, I try to Overhydrate, if you if you will, just just to be just to be safe, especially these night games, turn uh, the quick turnarounds going into the day games. You know, you really want to wake up and start drinking water. Same thing, drinking water all up until you go to sleep. So, 
that's a that's a huge thing for me. I I pretty much only drink water, so yeah, take take pride in that. What about um, last night? You were able to make a couple of good defensive plays. I know that you, you as you said, you had you took some good swings last night. Uh, didn't get the hits, but to make the plays defensively, I think maybe maybe some of the best plays since you've come to the major leagues. Yeah, I mean, I, I did get a lot of action last night, um, and I felt I feel, I feel confident um, just being out there with the guys and being able to communicate and. and slow the game down it just it felt really good to get out there and you know get a lot of action honestly just to get the feet wet again and get the feet back on the meat um yeah it felt really good um how big has trevor been for you i know in spring training um he kind of he talked you up gave you a lot of confidence there how big has he been for you he's still you know he's still being the same guy he's he uh bringing a lot of confidence he we talk a lot about you know our, our plan for the game and how we're going to position guys and, and stuff like that. And he just, he, the way he carries himself with his confidence really makes you feel confident in yourself to be able to do kind of what he's doing uh, in the same way and you're in your own way. The yeah, last one for me, it looks like uh, this team is a little bit in transition here. Um, if you could kind of give me a feel for, the guys that are kind of in your age group, I mean, I, I include McMahon, Tapia, and those guys like that. And um, the type of leadership you have and the, and the type of vibe you have for the future of this team. Yeah, um, you know, like we got Hampson, McMahon, Flint, we got a Dom, um, we got a lot of young guys around the, around the same age. And um, we're all confident players. We all played with confidence in the minor leagues. And we all kind of just talk about carrying that over in, into the big leagues. and. Even though we're a young team, you know, it's, we can still all be leaders in our own way. And uh, I think a lot of us, a lot of us are taking on that role, and uh, it's, it's paying off so far. All right, thank you very much, Brendan. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, thanks so much. Danielle, hi, Brendan. I'm Danielle Allen, the new beat writer for the Gazette. Um, last night when you were getting ready, did it feel like opening day jitters, or was it just kind of feel like a regular mid-season game for you? You know, maybe a little bit. Yeah, I, I did kind of feel a little jumpy in the box. My, my first at bat um, kind, of, kind of came out of my legs a little bit. You know, uh, Max just hit a home run. I was a little amped up, you know. Like, but, you know, that's part of it. You know, I, I kind of figured that was going to happen just a little bit. But then all that, all the action on defense really helped, you know, my body get loose and, and uh, felt confident going throughout the game uh, the rest of my at bats. And when you were rehabbing and coming back, um, what was the hardest part of your game to get back to this level? Um, I would say just kind of getting your, your timing back. Um, I spent a few days in Arizona getting big arms, and that was for me to just kind of get my timing back and, you know, get a feel for playing multiple innings. And, you know, because I, I, I didn't really play a single nine inning game until, yet, or until yesterday because because of all the rehab and spring training stuff, you don't really play full games. So it was good to, it was good to get a few nine inning games under my belt uh, in Albuquerque and then last night as well. So I've been feeling really good. Thank you. Yep, thank you. Patrick? Hey, Brandon, welcome back. Thank you. Uh, last time I spoke to you was way back in February right at the beginning of spring training, and you were so psyched about the season to come, and you were having such a good spring training, and then the hamstring injury got you. Uh, at that moment, in those few days, what was your feeling like? Can you just share with us? Because you've been through a lot. What was yeah. your feeling like? Yeah, you know, it sucked. Uh, I didn't think it was that bad at first. Um, but then, the, you know, that where I and stuff showed that it was for sure going to need some time to, you know, heal up and get, get some scar tissue built up and kind of fill it up and get it out of there. I had a lot of strengthening to do. Um, nothing I didn't do in the offseason, just, you know, some, had to throw in a few extra little things to just keep keep my hips and my, my hammies and, and everything loose just before pregame and, and going into BP and stuff just to, just to be, be safe. And uh, yeah, it, it was frustrating, but you know, it's part of the game. And uh, just gotta keep moving forward, keep grinding, keep, keep 
playing hard and you know, that's what I'm going to do. You know, you hit one pretty deep last night to to write. Um, did you think it had a chance? Because I know you're still waiting for that first big league homer. Yeah. Did you think it had a chance or did you know I didn't quite get it? Uh, you know, it, it did kind of get a little bit in on me. I didn't get really get fully extended on it. I I, had, I thought it would, was going to hit the wall at least, but I, I didn't think it had the, the height to get out. But, you know, it's whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm not pushing too too hard to hit a homer. I'm just trying to hit the ball hard and have solid at bats throughout the game and, and uh, help, help this team win. And they'll come when they'll come, right? Yep, exactly. Just keep hitting okay. hard. Uh, one more for me. Um, we all know, as Thomas mentioned a moment ago, this team is in transition. And I'm not going to ask you about who might be gone, but I think that's pretty clear to us. Uh, how do you feel with your shoulder now after the surgery in 19? If it comes down to they want you to be the full-time shortstop, is your, is your arm strength and shoulder in a place where you can make all the throws and do what you need to do from that position? Uh, yeah. What is it about two years since the injury uh, operation? Yeah, sorry. Um, yeah, I feel I feel really good. Same thing with um, my kind of hip hamstring maintenance that I was telling you about. Um, it's really similar with my shoulder. I pretty much four to five days a week and something for it, whether it's uh, in the training room or in the weight room. Uh, pretty much every day I'm rolling out, <clears throat> rolling it out, getting it, making sure it's ready to go. Um, and then post game, there's always maintenance and stuff that go into just keeping the arm healthy and, and loose and just ready for the next day because yeah, it is it is a lot of throwing. <clears throat> sorry, sorry. It, it is a lot of throwing and, and uh, actually from short. But um, I, I got a full uh, nine inning game there in uh, Albuquerque and felt got a lot of action as well like I did last night. Felt felt really good. Still feels great. Um, just gotta stay on top of that. Okay, and one more for me. Um, do you feel any added pressure right now, Brendan, knowing that the team has not been playing particularly well and you're coming up and the team needs a boost and you might be somebody who can help the boost? Are you putting any pressure on yourself for that or is or is that something that, you know, I'm just making up? No, I, I just – I think uh, just having the guys here and I it's, – it's really showing that they're, they believe in me and uh, – they want me to succeed, so that that's really all I need. I don't I don't need much added pressure on myself. I have plenty of that to try not to think about, you know. Um, and yeah, just just this guy playing playing beside these guys and trying to help this team win and seeing every, everyone else put put their efforts and uh, efforts forward. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I care about and look forward to. Okay, thanks, man. Appreciate the time. Thank you. Hear more from Thomas. Yeah, I just wanted to redirect on that. Um, has Buddy or anyone with the organization said, Brendan, this is your chance, or it, it, has that been understood? Because um, it, it's pretty clear to us that they are giving you this chance. But has anyone actually come to you and said that uh, that hey, we're going to see what you can do, and 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 you take it as far as you can take it? Um. Yeah. No. No one's really kind of said anything like that to me but um just little just little things like hitting coaches and everyone just kind of just giving me that confidence reaching out just little text messages the little things kind of no one's really saying like it's your time I, I kind of I know what time it is I know um my time to show out and uh just gotta keep playing hard hitting the ball hard playing solid defense and I'm gonna help this team win I know that uh, and just kind of keep moving forward, uh, game by game, pitch by pitch, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna be well, we're gonna be fun. Yeah, it seemed like the last couple of years when you have come up, it's always been whether it's to replace someone or kind of compete. Let's see what you can do. Um, does it feel different? Does it feel different to you that hey, these guys are trusting me now? Yeah, it definitely feels good to have these guys believe in me, um, and that's. That's pretty much all, all it takes is a little bit of belief and believing in yourself first. And that's that's all you need to succeed and just, just keep moving forward, playing hard. And that's that's kind of all how I, how I go, about, go about it. 